Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Durak, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I finished the shelving. I'm not all done. The top shelf is still open because I'm not sure what I want to be putting on there. And I still have to get the ceiling out to do the puck lights and all the wiring. So if I would make something there, then I would probably have to take it out in the future, which is not convenient. So I'm not going to do that. But I finished the other shelving, as you could see in a previous video. And I want to show you guys what I did and how I did it. So that's what this video is all about. So I'm going slightly back in time, but that's okay. To show you guys how I found solutions for things I wanted to be in a certain way. And I really like the way it's looking. And it's working very well. And I didn't think it would. But it's absolutely working very well. Nothing is moving. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys. So come along back into the future to see how I did this. So I hope this is going to stay. I also put the hook and loop tape in the back. And hopefully this won't bounce too much. I hope this works because I really like the way it's looking. And it's very convenient to store all my things. Now this is how I want my... Oh, this is how I want this shelving to be used but this won't stand like this of course I'm not gonna put the tape under here because I'm gonna be using this way too much so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this but I'll get started on this tomorrow I think good morning it's the day after I taped the little jars in the van and uh, we drove to the park to walk the dogs and it's morning and I'm just waking up as you can see but I was a little bit scared they would move I didn't hear anything they're still on there the only thing is that I'm not sure if I can take them off because the tape is so solid it's such good tape that I wonder that if I try to take them apart if the glue will hold so we'll see but it said to leave for 24 hours and it's really cold so I'm gonna test that in a couple of days there's Durak she's coming hey girl uh, so I'm gonna test that in a couple of days and then because then the glue probably has set a little bit more so I'm super excited about that and uh, so t the only thing I have to still not the only thing this is the only thing I've taken care of what I need to do next is that I want the plates and the mugs to stay on the shelf, which they won't. So I have to make something which they can sit in. 
which is subtle, which will keep them in their place. So that's what I'll be working on today, I guess. Okay, so I had a day today with running a lot of errands and I'm going to show you they did not move at all. I did not hear them. Let me, let me show you. They didn't even rattle. The only thing that I had to do is put them like that because if I close the door, there's this rubber thing and that wants to go there. So, when I had attached them yesterday, I tried to close the door and it bumped into this one. So I moved them. And I have not tried to take them off yet because it said to let the, to let the sticky dry, to let the sticky side dry for 24 hours. But because it's so cold, I want to give it some more time. Plus, I don't have to take it off because I can also just excess... Or maybe not. <laughs> I want to say I can access what's in there, but yeah, I made a little bit of mistake at that one. It's really sticky though. Well, I can I can get the the Q-tips that are in there. I can reach them. But this one, I also put the stuff on the back, and it's attached to the lid. The other ones are fine. These ones are better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna put. Um, I think I'm going to put some dog biscuits in one of these so that I can always access them, which is going... Oh, I'm stepping on my thing. So I can access them, which is going to be very handy. Yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, I was going <laughs> Now that I've put stuff in this drawer, this is the only drawer that ha doesn't have a uh, magnet here. It opens when we drive. <laughs> so, because it's heavy now. So I'm going to take everything out, put the magnet on there and then rearrange this drawer because it's kind of uh, messy and I want it to look nice and then it won't open anymore when we're driving <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello! Oh, it's such a mess here. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. So, I have had my cups and mugs sitting on the shelving, uh, like, in cork, like this. And it's been working really well. The only thing is that this one that I made, I don't really like the shape. I tried to round it out and it looks kind of weird. But, when I glued it to the shelf and I tried to put the glasses in. It turned out I had put it too close to the branch so it didn't work. So I had to take it off and that's when this part broke. And I just glued it back on and it's been working very well but just not perfect because it's no longer snug like, uh, how do I say this? Um... It needs to be, for it to work, to stay in the cork, it needs to be, like, hugged by the cork. And because it got, because it broke, it's no longer hugging. So it stays on there, but if I go on very bumpy roads, the glass that I have, which are the Ikea glasses, the tall ones, they, one of them kept falling out sometimes. It happened only, like, twice, but I thought to myself, okay, the Dutch roads are very nice, and I'm gonna go everywhere, and I wanted to stay put... <laughs> So I'm going to make a new one. I got some new coasters. They're they're like um coasters for your pants from Action. They're called they they were like uh 1 euro 80 I think for 3. So I'm going to use this like you can see what they're meant for to put your pan on. So I'm going to make another one, make it look a little bit more nice than the one I did here. I think they are a tiny bit uh less thick. But it's not that much, so it'll be okay. And then I'm going to glue it back on there, and then it should be fine. It's been working very well. I've been on bumpy roads, and it stays in its place. And I never thought it would work this well, but I think it looks nice, because it looks like they're on display. Like I have in my kitchen. I have them on display, and I like that. And it looks like they're on display, and they're just snug in the cork. So let's get cracking and let's make a new one. So that was it for this week's video and uh, I'm very happy with how it's working. It's very convenient. I think it looks really cute. And for this part, this has been working very well. So I changed this one out so it's it's snugger than it was before, which is very nice. It stays in place and it looks nice and tidy and I really love it. I think I'm going to get a cutting board and put it back here somewhere. And I don't really have place for the plates. I think the plates are just going to go somewhere in the drawer or maybe up here because I can only put low stuff here but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the top shelf yet so I'm just gonna leave it for now and once I'm going to move in here and get everything sorted I think I'll just have some stuff that I need to put somewhere and then I know what I'm going to do here so I'll just leave it open for now and uh, yeah I'm very happy with the result I'm also very happy I don't think I showed this too well in the video I have this little soap dispenser which holds dishwashing soap that's also gentle for your hands so I can wash my hands with it. And it's been very convenient because when I just I um when I do dishes I just keep the uh dishwashing brush under it, put some soap on it and then just do dishes. It's been working very well. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about the way it turned out because I didn't think, I thought I would do cabinetry because I had to, but I didn't really want to have everything so closed off. And it's working very well. I'm very excited about it. Now these are attached with Velcro. So I should be able to take them off. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that a lot. It is it is possible. So I can do it. But they are very sturdy. And I can just refill it. But if I really need to I can take it off. But for now it's looking, it's looking nice. And it's working perfectly. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime... Don't forget to say yes to Newman Avengers.